Hello everyone! A blessed day to all! Today, we will discuss the nature of environmental issues. In the previous lessons, you, ha you were acquainted with the environment and the healthy community. You also learned the positive impact of how healthy environment affects the health of the people and communities. This time, that there is health issues and safety measures that need to be accomplished to keep a healthy body. Environment plays a major role in the survival of the people to keep living in the new normal. Environmental issues. It is the major concerns that happen in the environment. Most of this happened because of human activities and the biophysical environment which has harmful effects to humans who are living on it. The major current environmental issues Number 1. Climate change The global warming that has been going on for the past 50 years due to human activities. Next, the number 2. Pollution The presence of harmful substances in the environment. Number 3. Environmental Degradation Deterioration of the environment through depletion of sources or resources, sorry. Number 4. Resource Depletion It is the consumption of resource faster than it can be replenished. Mas mabilis maubos kesa sa siya ay madagdagan. Number 5. Renewable resources are energy source that cannot be depleted and are able to supply a continuous source of clean energy. Number 6. Deforestation. It is the permanent removal of trees to make room for something besides forest. Di ba yung mga kagubatan natin or yung mga forest natin, ginagawa na nga yung subdivision, yung mga palayan, tinatayo na ng mga kabahayan. This can include clearing the land for agri agriculture or grazing or using the timber for fuel, construction, or manufacturing. Other environmental issues Unang-una na dyan ang flash flood o ang pagwaha na ngayon ay dinaranas ng maraming or dinanas ng maraming lugar. A flash flood is a rapid flooding of low-lying areas, washes, rivers, dry lakes, and depressions. It may be caused by heavy rain associated with a severe thunderstorm, hurricane, or tropical storm. Number 2. Soil Erosion It is a naturally occurring process that affects or affects all landforms in agriculture. Soil erosion refers to the wearing away of a field topsoil by, na by the natural physical forces of water and or through forces associated with farming activities such as tillage. Coral Reef Destruction It is defined as the degradation and potential mass death of the ocean's corals. It is normally caused by illegal fishing techniques, pollution, careless tourism, other natural phenomena such as earthquakes and hurricanes, and of course, climate change, the culprit responsible for our warmer oceans. Here are the most common solutions to environmental issues. Unang-una, replace disposal items with reusable items. The use of paper should be avoided. Consume water and electricity. Support environmental-friendly practices. Recycle the waste to conserve natural resources. Plant trees. Hello everyone! A blessed day to all! Today, we will discuss the effects of environmental issues on people's health. In the previous lesson, you have learned and understood the nature of environmental issues. 
environmental issues are the result of harmful human activities on the biophysical environment. Thus, environmental protection is a practice of protecting the natural environment at the individual, organizational, or governmental levels for the benefit of both the environment and humans. I have a picture here. Examine the picture. This shows a woman that finds strength and peace in nature. What does nature bring to you? The natural environment is a good habitable place to humans and other organisms on Earth. There are environmental problems like global warming, land and water pollution causing negative impacts in the natural environment. Many of the environmental problems being experienced are results of human activities. Dahil din sa ating mga tao, kaya nagkakaroon ng climate change, kaya nasisira ang ating paligiran dahil hindi natin ito iniingatan. Our planet Earth has a natural environment known as ecosystem, which includes all humans, plants, life yan at ito yung planet earth yan ecosystem which includes all humans, plant life mountains, glaciers atmosphere, rocks, galaxy massive oceans and seas it also includes natural resources such as water electric charges fire, magnetism air and climate environmental issues can be seen by long-term ecological effects, some of which can demolish whole environments. An environment is a unique unit and incorporates all the living and non-living components that live inside it. Plants and creatures are evident parts of the environment, but it also includes the things on which they depend on. For example, the streams, lakes, and soils. The biggest of these results are, the, are felt by particular animal and plant groups, the vast majority of which are specific for their bioregion or need a large area in order to make sure that their genetic lines are Effects of Environmental Degradation First, impact on human health. Human health might be at the receiving end as a result of the environmental degradation. Areas exposed to toxic or air pollutants can cause respiratory problems like pneumonia and asthma. Maaari or marami, millions of people ang maaaring magkasakit at mamatay dahil sa air pollutions. Number two, Loss of Biodiversity Biodiversity is important for maintaining balance of the ecosystem in the form of combating, combating pollution, restoring nutrients, protecting water sources, and stabilizing climate. Deforestation, global warming, overpopulation, and pollution are few of the major causes for loss of diversity, biodiversity. Number 3. Ozone Layer Depletion It is the responsible, or the ozone layer is the responsible for protecting Earth from harmful ultraviolet rays. Kaya ngayon, ang tinde ng naranasan nating init dahil nga nasisira na o nabubutas na yung ating ozone layer. The presence of chlorofluorocarbons Hydrochlorofluorocarbons in the atmosphere is causing the ozone layer to deplete. As it will deplete, it will emit harmful radiations back to the earth. Number 4. Loss for tourism industry. The, de the deterioration of environment can be a huge setback for tourism industry. 
that rely on tourists for their daily livelihood. Environmental damage in the form of loss of green cover, loss of biodiversity, huge landfills, increased air and water pollution can be a big turn off for most of the tourists. Last, the economic impact, the huge cost that a country may have to borne due to environmental degradation can have big economic impact in terms of restoration of green cover, cleaning up of landfills, and protection of endangered species. The economic impact can also be in terms of loss of tourism industry. Lot of people in the community and in the world are contributing to different environmental issues that happen every day. These human activities bring problems in the environment like the occurrence of water, air, and land pollution. The need to prevent environmental issues that has damaging consequences to human is important. These issues can cause different effects or effects on the health of the people. Kaya tayo mga tao, yung mga human activities natin, kung alam naman natin makakasira ito sa ating kalikasan, maaari naman siguro natin itong bawasan or iwasan na lang. Dapat alagaan natin ang ating kalikasan, ang ating paligid, ang ating Mother Earth. Paano na lang ang mga susunod na henerasyon? Kung sa ating henerasyon pa lamang ay sira na ito. Ano pa kaya ang lalanghapin nilang hangin? May mapaglalaroan pa kaya silang mga dagat? Mga ilog? Mga punong mapaglalaroan or mapagduduyanan, mapagsasabitan ng duyan? Mga bulaklak na maaalagaan? Tayo mismo kumilos upang alagaan ng ating kapaligiran. Hope you learned! God bless!